Hello everyone. You're welcome to Fuel Core Mathematics. And before us is an Olympiad Mathematics. Let's solve this into detail. 9 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to x to the power of x. Okay, I'm going to be very fast about this. Now we're going to apply this law, a to the power of b minus c being equal to a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of negative c. Okay, I'll apply this to the left so that we'll now have 9 to the power of x multiplied by the same 9 to the power of negative 1 equals x to the power of x. The next point is for me to divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. Okay, divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. Now, if we do this, it will help us to, you know, move everything about x to the right hand side. Okay, so we're going to have 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of negative 1 all over 9 to the power of x. And it will be equal to x to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Okay, if you are still following, I believe that you must have subscribed, right? Am I right? Okay, so now from here, we can now cancel out the 9 to the power of x. And then 9 to the power of negative 1 is left over. We have x to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Then we can, we can apply another law. And the law says that if you have um, a to the power of b over c to the power of b, since both of them have the same powers, we can have a over c now raised to the power of b. Okay, so this is what you are going to have. And now from here, what do we do? We are going to write this in this form now. Our 9 to the power of negative 1 is equal to x over 9 to the power of x. Now, there's something I always do. The, the unknown variable is expected to be on the left-hand side. Okay, that is what I always do. So I'm going to write this before this. x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of negative 1. So this is what it is. Now, what do we do? We need to know what we want to do. Okay, at this point, we should know what we are going to do. What we want to do is to write the one with the... um to make sure that the same base here is the same power over there. So let's make this power x over 9. And for us to do that, we should raise everything. Everything here will be raised. Okay, let me change this. Will be raised to the power of 1 over 9. So on the other side, we have 9 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over 9. So what you do on one side, you do on the other side. This is x over there, and it is to multiply 1 over 9. So let's write x over 9 first. Then x multiplied by 1 over 9 is x over 9. And by looking at the left hand side, the same power at the same base. Then on the right hand side, we still have 9 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, let's continue from the other side. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, this 9 to the power of negative 1, you know I can write that as 1 over 9 to the power of 1 over 9. Okay, because 9 to the power of negative 1 is the same as 1 over 9 according to one of the laws of indices. Okay, because if you have a to the power of negative 1, it is the same thing as 1 over a. So that's what I just did over there. Now, 
the left hand side and the right hand side can be compared can be compared right so if you look at the basis x over <clears throat> x over 9 is the base on the left hand side right and it's expected to be equal to the base on the right hand side now because we have 9 and 9 as a denominator we believe that the powers i mean the numerators should be equal so our x is equal to 1 and if you work with the powers again the same thing you will have so we are concluding that x is 1 but before the final conclusion let us verify the equation is 9 to the power of x minus 1 being equal to being equal to x to the power of x so now we're going to have 9 to the power of 1 minus 1 and it's equal to 1 to the power of 1 because x is 1 now right then if you go ahead 9 to the power of 1 minus 1 that will give 9 to the power of 0 then 1 to the power of 1 is 1 and by the way 9 to the power of 0 is obviously 1 because any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1 therefore our value of x is equal to 1 and it truly satisfies the given equation if you have not subscribed to my channel it's never too late subscribe so that you will be part of those supporting me thank you